This year, I'm coaching Rubber Band Catapult for the first time. I've watched this event before, and it looked like fun. I thought I had some ideas about how to get started. Last year, our school's team made a simple launcher with pieces of wood screwed together, and it seemed to work well. When I read the new rules for this year, I was surprised to see that wood wasn't allowed. I was a little freaked out because our team has always used wood. Most of the catapults I've seen at tournaments were made of wood. After I thought about it a little, it isn't very complicated at all. A catapult only needs some sort of base, and a method to hold and release a rubber band mounted on an arm that can be adjusted. The kids and I watched the event supervisor video on the website and read the rules together. We talked about some ideas, and they made some simple sketches of some designs they wanted to try. Then, the kids and I took a quick walk through a hardware store to see what was available. In the hardware section, we found strips of steel and aluminum of different shapes. Some were pre-drilled, so we could easily buy a box of screws and connect them together. In the plumbing department, we found PVC, copper, and iron pipes. In the electrical department, we found metal and plastic conduit. There were plenty of different shaped fittings that the kids could connect and experiment with. Our device will probably use a combination of materials. The requirements for launches change every year to keep teams from recycling the same device year after year. Teams reusing launchers has been a real problem in the past. Those poor kids missed out on an important part of the learning experience. The Science Olympiad rules require new catapults must be designed and built by members of this year's Science Olympiad team. As a coach, we're always looking out for the safety of these students. Although they're exceptional kids, they are elementary school age. They're not expected to use power tools, hazardous glue, or do anything that may be unsafe or inappropriate. An adult is expected to help out on this part. The coach needs to step in where it makes sense, but resist the temptation to take over building the device completely. It's easy to get caught up in the competitive spirit. Remember, this is a competition between elementary school students. You don't want your team facing a catapult built by parents. Don't accidentally subject other teams to an unfair situation.